Hi friends. By the time this comes out, it should be October, barring any sort of catastrophe, which as we know by now, this year it's, it's definitely a possibility. But since it is now officially the month of Halloween, I thought it would be fun to herald in the month of October with a very spooky Halloween casual. I really wanted to do a little witch kind of look, but I wanted to keep it cute. And then I had this idea to do a companion look to my fluffy clouds tutorial from, I think it was a little over a year ago now. Anyway, it got a lot of attention and everyone really really liked it and I've always wanted to do another one kind of like it but I had this idea it'd be really fun to do one that's kind of the photo negative of it just the same look but in a more spooky color theme so for this cloud look we're going to keep it to black and various shades of purple and I think it's gonna turn out really really cute so if that sounds like fun to you then please keep on watching and let's get started All right, let me zoom you in. Don't worry about the wig. This is not how it's going to stay. I actually have a hat for the final look, so I just needed to pin it back and get it out of my face. I look so weird without eyebrows on. Okay, I need to do that quick. But I wanted to wait until I had the wig on to match my eyebrows. I've done this several times on my channel and I always end up doing it wrong, or at least in a very roundabout way. So today I'm gonna try and attempt to be a little bit more succinct. All right, so let's start with a white base. I'm gonna take the NYX Jumbo Pencil in the color Milk and just run that through the front of my brows. Take my little spoolie and brush that through a little bit. I really liked my brows that I did for the latest vampire tutorial. I kind of did an ombre from white to gray and it looked really good. So I'm hoping I'll be able to execute something akin to that right now. Then I'm just gonna take this white liquid liner and just map out the shape of the brow. Fill that in. All right, now let me take a little angle brush and some white eyeshadow, and we'll just run that through the hairs as well to set that cream. Okay, and this I think is what cinched it last time was actually using the marker side of the Urban Decay Brow Blade. I think it gave it a little bit of extra definition on the tail. Yeah, these brows are good enough for now. I will probably want to fiddle with them later, but I just want to move on for now. All right, so we're gonna do a very quick, casual purple smoky eye with a wing. Nothing too fancy because I want to focus on the face and the clouds. So we're just gonna slap one on. First, as always, with some primer. All right, we have tons of purple options today. First, I wanna pick up the Creepy Cute palette and dive into Planchette here to give us a little bit of a pastel moment in the crease. And we're gonna take that pretty high and we're gonna wing it out. All right, and then we're going to dip into Tribute from the Raw Beauty Christie palette and get further into the crease. Let's just grab a little bit more planchette just to blend that out. All right, and then to deepen that up a little bit further, I'm gonna take Poison Plum from Sugar Pill and really concentrate that into the outer third. All right, and then I'm just going to take Cafe Disco from the Raw Beauty Christie palette as well onto a brush and just place that onto the lid. All right, let's switch to the finger. Then I need another metallic to marry these two worlds together. So I'm just gonna bust out Fantasy, which is a Super Shock by ColourPop. It's my favorite purple metallic. And I'm just going to place it in between those two colors to create a better blend. Let's do a wing. I feel like this wing shape is very spooky little peach. If you've never seen her on Instagram, you should definitely check her out. She is absolutely gorgeous, but she always does these 
really like they're super angular and cat-like and her wings are always just insane. All right, let's just quickly finish up the rest of the eye. And with the lower lash line, I always start from the darkest shade and work my way out, which is different from how I work on the lid. I don't know why, for some reason it just works out this way. And then lastly, I'm just going to hit the inner corner with some Cafe Disco. Not the most revolutionary purple eye and also not the best executed purple eye you've ever seen, but you know what? It's cute, it'll serve. I'm gonna do all that on the other side, put on some lashes, and then we will come back and finish the rest of the face. Other side is done, lashes are on. These are a pair of Kiss lashes. I think they're in the style Teddy from the Triple Push-Up Collection. And then I also just cut up a pair of Slayers from Rouge and Rogue and just attached an extra little chunk onto the outer edge just to give me a really like, ultra flared effect. So let's move on to the rest of the face and that's where things are gonna start to get a little bit tricky. I got really nervous the first time I did this and today is no different. Let's lay down a little bit of color for the clouds to be on. I think I wanna keep it pretty pastel. So I'm going to go back into planchette and we're just gonna start laying down some blush. And let's pop that onto the chin as well and across the nose as well. I look crazy. So this is Seeing Stars by ColourPop and it's just a little bit warmer in tone of a purple. So I think I might actually dip into that for a little bit of contour. All right, ignore that for a second. Let's just do the underside of the nose with that as well. Kind of just around the button. This wig is gonna be purple by the end of this tutorial. Oh, oh no. I very nearly put this all over my face and that would have been a huge mistake. All right, I guess we have to start doing the clouds. I think that's the last step here, folks. Well, let's put a little bit of highlight on the apples of the cheeks. I don't necessarily have a purple highlight. This will have to do. This is Fenty, how many carrots? It's just so sparkly. Let's think again. Would it be crazy to try a zipper in some way? Maybe that'll work. Actually. Oh yeah. I'm sure it wasn't intended for this exact use, but it's working. I want to brighten that up just a little bit, so I'm just going to yank out Flexitarian, which is pretty neutral, just for the nose. All right, I have to stop procrastinating and actually get to it. Let's take a look at this photo. I think we'll have to nix some of the clouds right on the very edge, unless I can do like really teeny tiny ones. I think most of them are going to be on the face and across the nose. Okay, so last time I used cream paint, and I think I will do that again this time, just because it did work out really well. I'm going to grab this little flat brush. It's very small, but I think it'll help us get some really nice details in the clouds. And the technique of these clouds is really, really simple. Basically, you just take a brush that already has a half moon shape in it, and you use that as a guide to create the little fluffs. All right, let's put a cloud down, shall we? <laughs> My camera stopped recording like just as I was about to put the brush down. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, load up the brush with some paint. Okay, I think this might work. <laughs> so I don't wanna take the black too far down because I wanna blend out the black later with purple. Let's do another happy little cloud. Cause they're not very happy. I guess they're probably like sad little clouds actually. And I'm trying to make them a variety of shapes and sizes just to make it more interesting. I do believe this is the most emo thing I've ever done in my life. And that's saying something because I've done a lot of emo things in my life. When I was a young boy, my father took 
way into the city. Would you believe that I actually wasn't a huge My Chemical Romance fan growing up? I was definitely more of a Fall Out Boy, Panic at the Disco kind of gal. I actually ran out of room on my SD card, so I had to delete a few things before I could continue. Clouds are all painted on. I think they're looking really cute. I'm going to set them now with a black eyeshadow. So I'm just very lightly setting all of these so that they don't move. So now I want to blend out the bottom of each little clud with a bit of purple. Let's start off with Tribute. Hmm, not quite working the way I want it to. Let's take a little bit more black cream paint and try and fade this out a little bit on the bottom. And then take a bit of black shadow, maybe. Yeah, okay, so taking a little bit of black shadow instead, blending out the bottom. All right, let's try this again. So taking a bit of tribute, just trying to blend out the bottom of each cloud. And then the last step, I think on the clouds, I just want to add a little bit of a brighter purple on the bottom. So I'm gonna use Stargazer again and just repeat these steps a little bit. Okay, I think that will have to do. It's not perfect, but when is it ever perfect? Let's throw on a lip. This is Fenty's Uninvited. It's just a black, thought it would be appropriate. I think I'm almost done. What I wanna do is do a little bit of glitter just to, I don't know, highlight the clouds a little bit. This glitter liner from Urban Decay will be perfect for that. Just to the tops of the clouds. Wow, that was tedious. Okay, let's spray her down. I think that is all the patience I have left for today. Oh my God. Before I forget, because I forget every single time. And then lastly, I just want to line my waterline in white. All right, last thing I think I need to do is put on my hat and then we are done. And this, friends, is the finished look. I am super happy with how it all turned out. I don't know what you guys think, but I feel cute. Loving the glitter on the clouds. I think that was a really nice touch and I'm glad I didn't add anything else I felt like adding some stars might have been cool But I also didn't want to muddy it too much with more black lining I also didn't want to add in another color because I felt like the whole monochromatic thing looked really cool So I'm really happy with how this turned out. I think the look is really really cute and i think seeing the two cloud looks side by side would be really fun i kind of wish i was going out but i'm not i'm just gonna hang out with my mom at home and drink pumpkin beer and watch the food network but i'll definitely go take some cute pictures before i wash this off and i absolutely feel in the spirit of halloween i'm just so excited to do some more halloween casual looks for you if you have any requests please leave them down below i love hearing your suggestions all right i'm gonna rattle off the spiel real quick so that i can go be cute cute for a few minutes. Here are the many ways that you can help out my channel. You can give this video a huge thumbs up. You can comment down below what you thought of everything. You can subscribe. You can follow me on other social media. I will leave those right there. Any and all engagement with my channel helps me out a huge deal, especially being a smaller creator. So if you can spare just a couple seconds to just engage a little bit with this video, it would help out a lot. If you want to know more of my behind the scenes thoughts, a little bit of my process, I have a patron exclusive series on my Patreon and that is also in the description box down below. There's also a BC election coming up and I've left the link to register for a mail-in ballot in the description box as well. So please go check that out. It was super easy. It took me like five minutes. Please, please, please go do that so you can exercise your right to vote because even witches care about democracy. And if you recreate this look or any other of my Halloween casual looks, please, please, please tag me in them on Instagram or wherever you share them. I would love, love, love to see them. All right, that is it for me. I'm going to take a bunch of pictures and get into my comfy clothes. Please stay safe, stay sane, wash your hands, wear a mask, register to vote, and above all else, 
just be kind and be generous. Do your best. I feel like that's gonna be my new outro from now on. Guys, just do your best. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.